Level up, 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 level up. Five, four, three, two, one. Level up, 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 level up. What up, my besties? My Instacart shoppers. Hey guys, butter is here. I am on my way to start Instacart. Today is Sunday, May 5th. I am late. Okay. <laughs> I am late. Um, my Instacart hour starts at 12. It is 11.54. I am not nowhere near the right zone, but I'm on the highway. Okay, I'm about to, I'm about to get on the highway. Today is a nasty day. I have this on my head. Um, so my locks don't get extremely wet. And I also have a hood. So I'm out here about to make some money. And guys, let me tell you something. They had sent me a text message talking about something, something hot fire. Honey, every order that I, every hour that I am uh, locked in to work, is a seven hour, I'm a seven dollar bump. Did you hear what I said? A seven dollar bump. I'm all in. I hope is busy so I can make this money. Okay. So a seven dollar bump plus a good order plus a tip. I'm hoping that it is a successful day. And you know, I don't like to shop in the rain, but when I see seven dollar bumps, I'm gonna be in the rain. Okay. Me in the rain, we are about to be friends, okay? So let me get down this highway and I will hit you back as soon as I get something worth talking about. So if you're out there shopping today and you're listening to me, be safe. order well I got a, I, I received an order and my first order had like a lot of items but anyway the payout was $55 so I'm gonna post it somewhere over here $55 um, it's like almost a hundred items most of it was um, vegetables okay a lot of vegetables I'm weighing and stuff like that how do you um, do your vegetables do you put all your I'm sorry your produce inside um, the cart and then weigh them after you get everything or do you weigh as you go certain things I just put in my some of them you just push like um, say for instance um, avocado and certain things of that nature it automatically just goes away but like if you have to do tomatoes, um, cucumbers, apples, bananas, you have to weigh those. So you just put everything in your cart and then weigh them all at one time. That's what I've start. That's what I've been doing, I should say. And um, like this lady, she had so much vegetables, well, produce. And then she got like a lot of tofu stuff and I'm not familiar with tofu like that. So um, I had to ask. Then there was some type of bread. I was in a bread aisle, couldn't find the bread. Come to find out the damn bread was in um, the freezing, the freezer department. So I wasted time there. Um, so I'm a little bit late. I have uh, four minutes to get to her, but I'm a, it says 2.05. I'm supposed to get to her, but I'll get to her at 2.09. My GPS is telling me, so it's not that bad. And I'm so I'm not far off schedule. These trees are so beautiful. Um, but yeah, so that's my first order, $55. I am here for it, okay? I am here for the $55. But I will say that this order that I just had was pretty stressful, especially when you don't know where everything is, new things. And uh, you know, like if you're there not shopping at Whole Foods, you know how everything is the, is the same thing is there and then the organic is there. So say for instance, if you want a bean, sometimes the beans are not in that same area. You have to go to the aisle where the organic stuff is. So it's not like, like I said, Whole Foods, you might have organic, regular 365 beans and then right next to it, you might have the organic beans. 
right next to it but when you go into a regular grocery store they don't have that you have to get if she wants some regular beans and then some organic beans it's not going to be in the same aisle you have to go over there <laughs> okay so and then that's just annoying and then like gluten free is not in the same aisle so for instance you need something over here that's regular you have to go to the aisle where the organic and the gluten free stuff is to go get it so it can be a lot sometimes and that's why I was saying the other day like sometimes I just want to do something different where I don't have to shop you can just go pick stuff up and keep pushing and drop it off but don't get me wrong, I like me a little Instacart, especially when they're pushing out $55 a night, um, $55 a batch. I'm here for it. All right, guys, I'm about to deliver this, and I will be back. Hey, my besties, butter is back out here in this soggy rain. Not soggy, but soggy. Oh, yes. <laughs> So I had another order for 22 and change. Um, and that again was that big Y. Now guess where I'm going, guys? BJ's. Let me tell you something. I definitely need to get a dolly thing. Um, one of those little um, I see a lot of um the YouTubers have it now because I didn't have to uh shop at BJ's before, but now it's like a thing, it's in the mix. So I, cause I never had to go to BJ. So I just thugged everything else out. But now I'm gonna have to get one of those little wagons because <laughs> this is gonna be a hard shop that I'm about to do right now. But I'm gonna do it. You know why? Because $77, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm all right with hard work if it's paying off, okay? So I'm on my way to BJ's. It's a pretty big shop. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this money real quick. And this is my last order. So three orders. I made over a hundred and change. Okay, the three orders. Y'all better come out here and get this Instacart money. Come out here and get this Instacart money. Use my referral code at the bottom if you're serious about that. Get out there and shop and make this money. Okay, because sister got things to do. Okay, use that referral code at the bottom, sign up, and get out here and make this Instacart change. Ch -ching. Okay, don't get me wrong, it ain't always like this. Okay, it is not always peaches and creams out here. It's hard sometimes, you don't get no orders, you get the turtle like I got the other day. Is always a hit or miss, and you don't always hit your goal for the week that you need to make for your own pocketbook. But on the days when it's hitting, it will be hitting. And it's like, now I'm kind of mad that I said that I would uh, not extend my hours if they kick and change out like this. I would have stayed on. Oh, and did I tell you? I think I did, but every hour is a $7 bump. Bump, bump, bump. Hey, bump, bump, bump. Let me bump that money in my pocket. Let me bump that money in my pocket. <laughs> I'm just being silly, guys. It's all right. So I might as well have fun now, because once I get in the store, yeah, I won't be laughing. I'll be like, <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll take a picture of the cart if I have time. Take a picture of the cart, show y'all what I'm working with. I might have to utilize my poor little back seat. And I got the heavy item bump boost. So my that my boost is like nine dollars plus the seven dollars or whatever, I don't know. Seventy-seven dollars. Yeah. I think that's my highest payout since I've been doing Instacart. So I see why people like my boy Roll 100. He be out there in BJ's collecting that change, okay? I see why I see you now. I see you. <laughs> see what you doing out here and then BJ and then BJ streets. Okay. So let me get on out here and make this money. And I'll give you guys a closing summary and a closing ending when I'm finished. Y'all are.
already know. Butter will be back. <laughs> All right, guys. It's a lot going on in this cart. <laughs> This is gonna be heavy. <laughs> But this is the, the train tracks. I'm going to be 10 minutes late. Maybe. Yeah, about 10 minutes late. To drop this order off. And I'm alright with that. Okay. I worked hard as hell on this order. Okay. Hard. Duh. I see why you make good money because I work so hard on this order. You have no idea. But I did it. Badass bitch in the game. I got one, two, three, four, five waters in the back. I have like so much stuff. <laughs> Captain Crunch. No, this is Cinnamon Toast Crunch over here. Trivia. Dog food in here. My trunk is packed. You see, I'm sweating. Woo! Okay. It's real out here in this BJ's Instacart streets. I had to take my... Woo! Honey. Okay. Flushed, honey. Oh, Lord. Okay. Ugh. I worked hard. Duh. I did it and I'm proud of myself a couple of times I felt like giving up and calling customer service <laughs> I ain't gonna lie I was like yo I had three carts pushing it out and it's my first time I should have got a flatbed you know my thing is when you're doing something it's trial and error so next time I know to get a flatbed but then again it's like even with the flatbed I had so much stuff I didn't really, I wouldn't even know how to pack it at that point. I probably would need a flatbed and a cart. So I had two carts. The guy that checked me out was awesome because I had boxes. I was collecting boxes as, along the way as I was shopping. So I could um, pack. So when, when he was ringing me out, I was packing the groceries inside the boxes. So when I get to the man's house, he just has to grab out boxes. We gonna have to because he can't help me. That's what he gotta do. Okay. I can't drive too fast when the car is feeling heavy. <laughs> I need a truck. <laughs> Roll 100. I need a truck. Okay. <laughs> but I did it. I'm so happy. I did it. Oh, honey, hush. And um, you know these people. I mean, I guess it's for their house and their dogs and stuff like that. But I ain't know people shop like that. $516 worth of groceries. $516. Okay, let me see where my. Oh, yes. Oh, excuse me. $517 worth of groceries. $517. It's a lot. Okay. And I'm surprised I finished it in the time that I did. I finished it maybe eight minutes late inside the store and I'm gonna be delivering it 10 minutes almost 10 minutes late because it said 5 30 something I'm supposed to deliver so yeah when I go home honey I'm taking me a hot shower and I'm going to bed okay so I gotta work tonight my kids look at me and tell me that they hungry and they want something to eat <laughs> peanut butter and jelly downstairs mommy worked hard you know this order I worked really really hard it was hard work 
But let me tell you something. I haven't done hard work like this in so long because even my job is not like this. <laughs> my job is not hard like this at all. At all. So, this 77 bucks for this hour and some change was worth it. So I would say it was probably like, like what, 30, 35, 36 dollars or so an hour I just did. It's not bad. But next time I will definitely monitor more what I got to pick up because the last order that I did from BJ's, which was um, in my yesterday vlog, um, wasn't as bad as this one. This one was pretty bad. I can't do another order like this. It's too much. If I did, I'll have to bring my son with me and then he will be taking up room in the car. <laughs> he would take room up in the car and I need room, okay? They said, oh, and then I was working so hard. Let me tell you how hard I was working. Working so hard, honey. I watched them pop off. You see this? Oh, yes. I'm not gonna snap it back together. But okay. I wish I had somebody to to rub my back down once I got home. Jesus. Because this was real. the GPS going on inside my ear and you guys can't hear it and I'm glad I found that out so when I'm doing my videos to you guys you don't have to hear um, the lady I call my um, my lady Bertha what do you guys call your lady I call my Bertha my Google guide I call her Bertha you see how I slid that on real quick like that neighborhood and I don't need nobody to be trying to pull me over oh guys speaking of that I don't know if you if my if you besties if my besties you guys <laughs> have been watching for a while but in a few, like a quite a bit of vlogs back how when I was doing Instacart and my car got towed or whatever and I had a hundred and seventy one dollar ticket why they threw that out I have to pay it mm -mm, won't he do it hey won't he do it. see that's that's the thing you have to be kind to people Okay, and this is the thing I'm talking about, the universe. You throw good stuff out there, and stuff will come back and smack you right in the face. Good things. Be kind to people. You know, it takes a lot of energy to be ugly. Okay? A lot of energy to be ugly. Don't be ugly. Okay? Be nice. I mean, sometimes we get a little ugly once in a while. I know I do. But for the majority of the time, there's no need to be ugly. It takes too much energy. It really does. But I did it, guys. I am so happy I did it. I struggled, but I made it through. Yes, I did. Uh, so, at the end of this vlog, I will give you um, my little summary of what I did today. I will share that with you and um, at that point the vlog will be over and I will check you guys out in my next vlog but for now y'all already know butter is out TTY and make sure your shit is together before you go into BJ's what the hell okay make sure Hey my besties, here you see my breakdown at 12, 11 p.m. I made $52. I don't know, they probably docked me for some type of crap. And then I'm um, 215 with a $22 order. And at 312 was that big. And at 312 was that dangerously big BJ's order. Y'all stay tuned for more videos and I will see you guys again soon. Butter is out.